The refractive index of a transparent material is a measure of how much it will refract. A light ray. Remember that refraction is when waves of light enter a material which could be denser and therefore slow those waves down and the waves bend as a result and that's refraction. In this diagram we've set up a normal line, a normal line which is at right angles to the point where the waves or the ray enters the material, in this case glass. And we've also got two angles. We've got the angle of incidence, which is here, angle of incidence. We're going to call that I because this is the incident ray. Incident ray. And we have the angle of refraction, which is down here. The angle of refraction, which we're going to call R. And these angles are always measured between the ray and the normal line. So they're always between the rays and the normal line. OK, now what the refractive index is telling us is how fast are these waves traveling in air or a vacuum compared to how fast they're traveling in a different material such as glass. Now they'll be slower in glass than they are in air. And so the refractive index will be greater than one. We can also look to a, um, another mathematical relationship which links the refractive index, which is given the symbol n, to the angles because the angles depend on how fast the ray is traveling. So here's your equation for the refractive index. So n equals the sine of the angle of incidence. So there's our angle of incidence. We're going to put that in the trigonometry function sine divided by the sine of the angle of refraction, sine r. And we need to use the information in the diagram to calculate the refractive index of the glass using this equation. So let's go ahead and do that. OK, we're going to use the usual approach to calculations, which is list, equation, solve and state. So here we go. First of all, let's list what we know. We know that the angle of incidence is equal to 40 degrees. We know that the angle of refraction is equal to 27 degrees. We're trying to find n and n doesn't have any units. It's just an index. It's a ratio. So next step is equation. So the refractive index is equal to the sine of the angle of incidence divided by the sine of the angle of refraction. Let's sub in the numbers. So n is equal to sine of 40 divided by the sine of 27 and that gives us the answer 1.42 and I've rounded that to two decimal places. Finally we need to just state the answer so s refractive index index n of the glass is equal to 1.42. Now that number means that waves of light travel 1.42 times quicker in air or a vacuum than they do in glass.